Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace website designer for travel photographers and today we're going to look at how to make your website more mobile friendly. So for SEO purposes to increase your search engine ranking and also just for your user experience, you want your website to be very effective and easy to use on all different screen sizes, not just for website, especially for travel photographers who I'm guessing you probably have an Instagram account. Um, so people are clicking for, to your website through your Instagram on their phone. And so it's very important that your uh, website is mobile friendly. So there's a couple little things you can do to just tweak that. Squarespace does quite a good job on um, changing it to be mobile and tablet friendly uh, on its own. So if you go to, you know, up here you can change to see the different screen sizes and you'll notice that you know Squarespace does alter um, the styles to fit different sizes but there is just a couple things you can do to push it just a little bit more um, to be just a little bit more mobile friendly okay so we're going to go to design custom CSS and we're going to add in some customization to help make it look just that little bit better on your mobile. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to remove any hyphenation. So sometimes when you have a really long heading or a big word, it will hyphenate that word when you go to a tablet or mobile. So I like to put this little bit of code in there to stop that from happening. Um, that's just a personal preference, uh, but I find it just helps with the readability of your site just that little bit more. The second thing that you need to copy and paste in is this code here and all of this is provided below the video so what this does is it establishes some breakpoints meaning that when the screen gets um, below 640 it will apply the code in the mobile section and if the screen is between 641 and 949 then it will apply the code in the tablet section. So you can um, then add some code that just applies when the screen is at these sizes. So for the most part, I wouldn't touch this code unless you're familiar with where your breakpoints are and you wanna edit those. Um, but for you, I would just stick between these little lines. So I have here, insert code for tablet below this line and above this line. So if you have specific code you want applied to when it's on a tablet size, it goes in here. And if you have something when it's on um, a mobile or phone size, it goes in between these two lines here. So if you notice here, I'm not a huge fan um, with how Squarespace has resized some of these texts. So for the most part, I mean, it's okay, but just to make it that little bit more, um, I'm going to add my own little coding. So you notice there's not much of a difference between heading two and one, and the medium button is actually bigger than the large button. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste in this code, which changes the size when it's on tablet mode. So I've put it you'll notice, in between those two lines for tablet. And this applies new styles, new sizes for my heading one, heading two, heading three, body text, my large button, medium button, and small button. Okay, and you can play with these numbers to be where how you want them. So right now I have, um, you know, 60. Maybe I want my heading 2 to be 40, um, heading 3 to be 20, and maybe my, or maybe I want this one to be, let's say, 25, my body text to be 20, and then 16, 14, and uh, 12. So I like that kind of sizing there. I think that looks nice. I'm going to apply that same bit of code in between these lines for when it's on mobile. So I click over to mobile, copy and paste that in between those lines, and now I can play with these numbers to change, again, my heading, my font sizes for when it's on um, mobile. So for instance, maybe I want this to be you know, 50, 30, 20. 18, maybe I want this to be uh, 14, 12, and 10, for instance. 
So I look, okay, yeah, I'm happy with, with how that looks on a mobile. And it just, just alters it just that little bit, um, just to make it that little bit more mobile friendly um, and look a little more visually appealing on mobile than just what Squarespace has done on its own. Um, what I do suggest doing if you've applied any styling to mobile and tablet, although uh, Squarespace has these options here, I have found that sometimes when I actually open it up on my phone, it is a little bit different and maybe the heading is actually too big when I, when I actually see it on a phone. So what I do is I click save, go back to here, go to my settings, site visibility, and I change this to password protected. I'll type a little um, password in, and then let's go back. I'll click save, and what that does, I can go into um, on my phone and type in this section without this, just this, and it will bring me to a password protected page. I type in my password and you can see what your site looks like on your mobile before you have to um, pay for it to be live. And that just kind of helps me as I'm going through, I'll have like a tablet and a phone beside me and I'll just, just double check to make sure that, you know, you know, what does it actually look like on a phone or on a tablet in front of you um, can help alter your, your styles or your font sizes. So that is how you add just a little bit of code to make your site just look more mobile friendly, um, more so than what Squarespace can do on its own.